What up, everybody? And welcome back to Sly 2 Band of Thieves. In the last episode, we finished up episode 5, literally. Um, it was the war between Contessa and this busy, Neela, or whatever her name is. And, uh, well, Contessa got fucked up by me and the squad, and then uh, this bitch got away. But we had to help Carmelita get away as well, because, well, we still haven't cleared her name. So... I guess we're gonna take on Mr. Red Buffalo Man. I forgot his name. Didn't we didn't we kinda meet him at the party? Like we didn't meet him face to face, but didn't we like see him wandering around the party? I feel like we saw one dude around the party back in episode three or whatever. Episode two, episode three, episode two, I guess, with the you know, at the Tigers party. Um Yeah, so let's uh see what he's up to. Episode six, let's do this. He who tames the iron horse. Following the trail of spice shipments, we made our way up to Nunavut Bay, Canada, the secret hub of Jean Besson's shipping empire. As a young man, he trusted Jean Besson, the bison, the that's during the gold rush of 1852. An avid prospector, he took some chances and ended up buried alive in an avalanche. Miraculously, the quick freeze kept him alive, and 120 years later, thanks to global warming, he thawed out. A product of his time, he dreams of taming the wild north, damming every river and chopping down all the trees, with progress delivered at the sharp end of an axe. Shipping spice for the claw gang proved a lucrative way to bankroll his one-man war against nature, and yet... I have to feel a little sorry for him. He's just a normal guy from the 1850s. Back in his day, he'd be a hero, but today, he's a villain. Either way, that man's got more than his fair share of the clockwork parts. What a low-tech guy like Jean Bassan is doing with robot parts is a mystery. I almost don't want to know. But as always, it's only a matter of time before I find out. Sly Cooper and the gang in? He who tames the iron horse. Alright. And you know what? I think my food's here. Damn it. I thought they were going to be like at least another half an hour. Oh well. But this means we're going to have an early food break. Because <laughs> I want to eat my food as warm as I can eat it. Um, but anyway, we're here on episode 6. Let's, uh... I, there's still a bunch of shit I didn't get to buy last time, right? Yeah. We're a little behind on buying stuff. I really should grind for some money now. Anyway, let's uh just pop Sly out there and take a look at our brand new area. What do we have going on out here? Huh. Kind of a nice big open light area. Everything's so light and bright, it's weird. All the other levels have been dark and dreary. Anyway, let's look for Mr. Clinky Clanks. I hear him. Let's collect him. Collecting fools. You remember silent obliteration being super useful? Silent obliteration, is that one of the moves that I have? Whee! Oh yeah. And there's so many freaking items right here at the beginning. Oh god. Uh. I was close. That bird didn't see me. He ain't see me. He, 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 he ain't see me. Here we go. One more. And, huh. Oh no. Ah, I pressed the wrong button. Shit. Nope, you didn't see me. <laughs> Murdered that guy real fast. Well, I was like already six bottles just in this opening spot. This must not be a giant level, or I just happen to have a lot of bottles right in the first spot. Thought I heard another bottle. Okay. Uh, moose! I just noticed that those are mooses. That's awesome. Mooses. Moosin? Mises. Moose is the correct word. 
Murder a moose. Let's go. Oh god, they heard me. Anyway, at this point, I'm literally just looking for bottles, and if I come across the first mission while I'm doing it, so be it. Also, ah, there is a tank car truck thing. I hear more bottles above me. I'm gonna get them above, above, above. Oh shit, he sees me. Get some. Shit, I'm stuck. Uh oh. Key up. Come get some, dude. Key up. Want some more? Key up. Pelican man. You will not fuck with me. Pelican man. Got him. Clearly it's Mises. Of course. Mises. With an S. How could I get that wrong? Also, I am totally back where I started. Whoops. Right? That's where I started from, right? It is. Alright. Bottles, bottles, bottles. Who's got all the bottles? I don't hear any around here, so. I'll just assume there's some up here. Murked him! Bottle up here? I hear it. Thank you! Of Mises and Men. There you go. Nailed it. <laughs> what the ass? I want that bottle, damn it. How do I. What? I just want that bottle. Who's chasing me? That's who's chasing me. That was just the sound effect thing. There's one right there. What the ass? I didn't land on the rope? What? Come on, game. I pressed the circle button. Well, this level is actually fucking huge. And I'm going over there. Look like it might be small, but then all of a sudden I notice we can go along these train tracks and shit. It's fucking huge. So there was totally a dude in the ice. What the ass? What was going on there? Some sneaky little bastard was in the ice. Anyway, let's go ahead and check out the first mission, shall we? That cabin may seem rustic, but don't be fooled. It's the control center for Jean Vizan's trade empire. Sneak inside and raid his files. You're sure to find out where he keeps his clockwork parts. Ransacking his files doesn't sound hard. Now, climbing up a sheer rock wall, that'll be a challenge. You're in luck. Before Jean Bassan took over, this used to be a popular destination for rock climbers. Some of their old wall hooks are still around. I'm guessing I just jump and hit the circle button to latch on. That's right. And remember to lean back before you spring off the hook. You'll get more altitude. Oh, Thanks for the that's tip. how you I'll give utilize it a try. that shit. Okay. Alright, well, now I know. I don't really know if that was a thing. Also, that's a giant-ass bear. What the fuck? I did not even notice the bear. Don't fuck with the bear, dude. You poke the bear. You get the... You get the bear. Well, I'm gonna go poke the bear. Only because I want... That. Oh, God. Run! Run, you fool! Ah! Run! There's a bear on your tail! There's a bear on your tail. I just wanted all the bottles, man. There's a bear on my tail. I can see him clipping through. Ah! Uh, run away! You cannot catch me, bear! Ah! Uh, what? That's not what I wanted. Did he stop chasing me yet? Oof! That was rough. There's a bear on my tail. Might have been a blessing in disguise because there's probably a train coming right for me.
I did just barely make it, didn't I? Bodle on, bodle action. Key off. I still hear, I still hear a bottle. Hello? I know I started the mission, but I'm like, still, I'm still, if I spot a bottle, I'm going, and if I keep hearing more, I'm going to keep getting more. So the bear is pretty much fair game to murder everyone, huh? Interesting. It's good to know. I can use, I can use other, other enemies to, to poke the bear, so to speak. So that's nice. Get up here. There we go. What? No bottle up here. Ass, where'd I hear a bottle? I heard a bottle. What the fuck was it? Hello? Fuck you, moose. Down here? Sorry, if I hear it, I gotta find it. Oh god. Run away! It's the abominable whatever man! Oh no, no! Oh my god, that bear was luckily not in position to murder me. That's nice. Now, if I could just get up here where I'm trying to get to, it'd be real neat. But I keep falling down or get distracted. Just supposed to go to this house right here. Fucking Bodles the Bodles the mole over here, trying to be his do his big bang bang. Looks like he didn't notice me come in. Just stay out of sight and take a picture of each of his train routes. They should narrow our search for his share of the clockwork parts. All right, I'm on it. Hello, Arpeggio here. Stay out of sight and take some pics, Mr. Arpeggio. Y'all got time to shoot the breeze? Of course, for you, Chan, always. Although, must we communicate Let's through see. that? Can I see all the roots from here? Yeah, I can think better while my legs move. Pumps blood to your brain. Yes, of course. One must keep blood in one's brain. But do tell, is there some pressing matter you'd like to discuss? First off, are you still a coming on schedule to get that Northern Lights battery? Yes, we're well underway. Camera, I camera, camera. Bullseye. For a second, when you're gonna give me this a camera look at that here. awkward brain of yours? I'd sure like to buy it off you. Be song, you cover this troglodyte. You already got the lion's share of the parts. Right. Would you take my meager portion of the robotic one? bird for your own and strip me of all my earthly pleasures? Easy there, partner. You're all up in a lather. It's just that I found some real use for the clockwork parts I got. Why, I put three of them in the engines of my best trains. With those robotic doohickeys feeding the fire, them trains will run all night and all day. I okay, so my iron they're in the trains. Each train has a part. I gotta keep got plans it. hidden. Stuffed them in my three trophy bass. Sounds like you're making capital use of your share of the robotic loot. But for now, the clockwork brain stays with me on the blip. Although, when I arrive to pick up the Northern Lights battery, close. I might be persuaded Brain on the blimp, huh? That'll do fine. By the way, are you ready to giddy up into Perry for the final hoedown? Yes! The blimp's hypnotist wavelengths conform to the specs drawn up by the Contessa, and Dimitri, before his unfashionable capture, did a bang-up job of distributing spice through his nightclub. Sounds like all you're missing is some northern light electricity. You what do you mean, sir. hidden? Yours is the final piece to the puzzle. The missing link. Once the battery is aboard, nothing will stand in the claw gang's way. How am I supposed to get this one? Yeah, yeah, okay. So, I guess I'll be seeing you at the end of the week. Right. Farewell, me song. Stiff up a lip. Ta-ta. What's a good spot to get this one from? There's always shit in the way. 
Can I just take the picture from down here? No. Same thing, thinking the same thing, Berserker. Can I get up there? I don't know. Oh, probably right here. Son of a bitch. Well, this would have made things a lot easier. All I had to do was climb up here. Well, then. Could have got all the pictures from up here. Head for the fish on top of the fireplace and steal those plants. Head for the fish. You got it, dude. Fish! Fish! Excellent. Now get out of that cabin before you're spotted. That's the plan. Get on now, baby. Ain't no vice on gonna see me. Oh, God. He stopped moving. What? Keep moving, bitch. I'm trying to get out of here. over there. Yep, that's one of them. Let's go do that one first. I've already been over there. That's where I need to go, so we're gonna do that one first. Key up. Night, night. Moose. I don't know how I'm supposed to know when the train's coming, but just run like hell, dog. Up in here, who'll be up in here? Yep, just like I thought. Oh, Get to the fish Looks like a bunch of friendly fiends in here. Where are they? Oh, they're, on. they're in the fish, duh. This is also where the where the safe is, okay. Interesting. Does it matter how I handle this? I guess because it's dark in here, they can't see me. It's kind of funny. Well, he's dead. Oh, well. Oh, shit. Let's forget to get back and fuck up. Man, shit, dude. Yeah, these fucking. These quackers, man. They got a lot of health. They don't fuck around. Got him. Sorry, I kind of want to murder everybody in here, anyways. I want the. I need the coin. I don't know if there's gonna be one of my the abilities in the shop that I'm gonna end up needing. Is the charge attack in this game or no? It probably is. Actually, I should break some more shit in here. There's probably a bunch of fucking coins up in here if I look around. Yup. I should probably be trying to get all these. They might contribute to the things I was just talking about. And we'll, we'll, we shall return with the codes, of course. Lots of coinage! Give me all your coins. Give me all your coinage. Anything else? Burl there. Another barrel. Barrel. Destroy the barrel. Alright, that's 
one down. The other one's all the way on the other side where I haven't been yet, which is good because we got a lot of we got ten, Oh wow, I only need ten more bucks. That's, that's a pretty good start. I only fa already found twenty or thirty bucks. That's a pretty good start indeed. I feel like the ones I got in the bear cave were probably some of the more annoying ones to get, so I'm glad I got those already. Assuming that I didn't miss one in there. There's one up there on that track. Let's get that one right now. There's probably more on this track, actually. There's one up there, too. Oh, God. Uh. Oh, shit, there's no one down here, though. Nice. Good find, good find. So a bottle up here. Hello. That was a good landing. Okay. Any more bottles out over there on that track? Maybe. I don't know if I can actually get up on that track. I feel like I can go out into that ice, but... Might be an invisible wall or something that stops me. I don't know. I'm scared of trains. Trains are scary! Bottle up there. I'm gonna go up here. See if there's any bottles up here. There's probably at least one. If not, I can get to that other one that's above me. Hey, uh. I should rob those guys before I kill them. Probably got some good stuff. Or at least a good thing. See what I mean? Ruby! The most beautiful ruby red. Oh, they don't drop anything when you do that, though, huh? Fair enough. Makes sense, I guess. just pull back on it and it just kind of gives you an extra launch. That makes sense. Okay, so there's a treasure up here. Got it. What the fuck? Get out of here, birds. What the ass? I did see a bottle. Where the fuck was it? It was up on the track, right? It was on that track? more to go. Which seems like not very many for there being all this area still over here I haven't been. There's nothing right there. Let's grab that shit. Whoa, dude! <laughs> Look at that. That was fun. Actually, is there anything back over here? Whoa, dude. That's not what I wanted. Oh, shit. That ice breaks. Let's see. You can't hang out, out out there for long, that's for sure. Okay. There's a bubble right there. Oh, God. Damn it. to go. I hear one on the power line. Okay. Shit! Run away! Ah. Run away! They'll never catch me alive! In that case, maybe we should 
go ahead and do this. Hey Mara, welcome back. How you doing? The last trophy bass is above the fireplace. Be careful. Attention all cabin guards. I've heard tell from the boys at Ponderosa Cabin there's someone been in my head blueprints. Everyone stay Got sharp. it. Too easy. Exceptional work, Sly. That's the last of the blueprints. Oh great. That's awesome. It threw me onto the ground. That's what I wanted. Dude, get me out of here. This is not a good place to be for me. This is not conducive to my survival. Armed with all three blueprints, we should be able to isolate and track the iron horse trains through that satellite dish. Oh man, I have to get back up to the top of there. Shouldn't take long. Okay. It's already there. I didn't know. Alright, so we're looking for two more bottles, right? Not, not a bad start for show. For show. Probably just walk right by the spots where they're at, really. If I think about it. I'm doing swell. I'm actually getting pretty hungry, and I think my food is here, so... We may be taking a food break pretty soon here. Yeah, I might as well just go all the way up. Find the last two bottles. Probably as we go. Alright. Mission complete. We've got total access to the train's GPS system. It's all on my computer. Head back to the same house. I'll crunch some numbers and give you and Murray the rundown. Thanks to Sly's efforts, we now know the location of all three of the local clockwork parts. Two lugs and a stomach. John Besson has grafted each piece to the engine in one of his iron horse trains. This improvement allows the trains to run all night and all day. We won't have the luxury of sneaking in while they're stopped. While they're in motion, the only way aboard is through a hatch on the caboose roof, which unfortunately has been locked down. These need to go. These need First, to go. collect the spice gas from the balloons above town, and then land on the back of the caboose to blow off the locks. Once the way is cleared, I'll suit up and jump into Iron Horse number one while it passes near town. With some luck, we'll have the first clockwork lug in a few hours. Few hours? I don't have a few hours, sir. That's too many hours. Anyway, okay, so my food is definitely here. I know it is. I'm gonna go eat it. I'm hungry. Sorry for the quick break after we just got started here on slide two. But you can sit here and watch the Last Supper with them. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I was hungry. We needed a break. My food is now eaten and now I'm full of shit. And I expect a burp or two. Anyways, let's get to hatching our first part of the plan. Sly, we start with you as usual. You know you can drag my ass into the voice channel and Discord and yell into it? Do it! See what happens. Can you really drag me into it? Can you actually drag somebody into a channel? Shit, press the wrong button. The moose! The moose! Alright, I'm out. I'm out, dude. I'm out. I didn't mean to piss the moose off. I meant to murder him. Uh, they don't know where I is. Shit! Oh, oh, no. I don't even know where I is. Run away! Run away! Okay. So 
I need to go over there and over there. What I was mainly hoping for is bottles. Where them bottles at? Where them bottles at? Hey, hey, hey. Hello. I shall enjoy your coinage, sir. Amongst other large gold bars. Hello, goodbye. Now, where be them bottles? Where be them bottles at? Hey, 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 where them bottles at? They got rid of the function where you can drag me into the Discord? Good! Good. Because otherwise I was about to go abuse that power right now and drag everyone in there. I'm just kidding. Have be part of the voice channel now. Or an admin to move them around. Uh, interesting. Well, whatever. Oh, there is an invisible wall there. I thought there would be. Now I know. I wanted to test the theory out. Theory. De bomb. You want to test your theory? Now your theory's debunked. I told you before, I don't give a honk. And if you don't believe me, then you simply redonk. Holy shit, I got only 45 seconds, oh no. I might barely make it if I run like a hoe. Just wanted to see if I could make it for show. Holy shit, there's a bear on my ass, oh no. Run away, there's a bear. Run away, there's a bear. Sneaky, sneaky, freaky, dicky, getting real sneaky. <clears throat> Did it? See how much money I got now. <clears throat> Besides what I already have, I'll sell some shit. <clears throat> Damn it! Clear your throat, bitch. <clears> throat> Eighteen hundred, huh? <clears throat> also, trophy, loot, fifteen hundo. All right. Um, well, I can pretty much afford whatever I want, but what do I want? Hmm. <clears throat> can either be a really fast turtle. We can definitely get medicine from the guards. We can hover pack. This I might want. In fact, I'm buying it now without even hesitating. You can... Jump while carrying somebody. I want this one too. Rocking it shell style. Berserker charge. Scatter enemies with his powerful run. Uh, use while jumping to create a wall of flame. Ooh. Alarm clock. Silent obliteration. This is the one you're talking about. Finish off juggled enemies without attracting attention. Um, interesting. Well. Okay, then. I see. So whenever you get a stealth kill, it won't alarm anybody. I get it. That could be very useful. All right, well, I might come back for that when I got the money. But first, I got to get the money. I know I just spent my money on the jetpack, but I feel like that'll be way more worth it for the current situation when I have to go around as Bentley. Alright, so the first one we gotta do is over here. I'm gonna... Uh, uh. I'm gonna rob this moose real quick. Rob him. Rob him. Nope. Rob him. Rob him again. Chip! Another ruby! And a murder! I don't know if that actually alerted anybody. It doesn't seem like it. Nobody nearby enough to give a fuck. Oh, there's a bottle right there. I figured I'd find him if I went along the tracks. Probably one more along the tracks somewhere. Anyway, let's go ahead and do this mission. It's awful. It's awful. Slow down, Bentley. What happened? Murray, he went out looking for a snack and got captured by Inspector Fox. Carmelita, uh -oh. she's here. Don't worry, Bentley. I know how to handle her. But I don't know where she's locked up Murray. 
I'm used to having all the facts. Calm down. Carmelita's not cruel like the Contessa. I'll follow her without being seen. She's bound to check on Murray sooner or later. Okay, that's... That's a good plan. Just don't get caught too. I don't want to be alone again. Don't get caught too. Alright, don't worry. I got your back, family. I got your back. Alright, let's, let's keep an eye on this bee's town and see where she goes. Where you going, baby? Where you going? Oh shit, she goes up, goes underneath. Ah! What is happening? What is happening? There you go. There you go. Good lord. Stuck in an endless loop there for a second. That was no way out. <clears throat> I also feel like I just heard a bottle over there. I'd be down for a Carmelita dance party. Hell yeah. Oh god. She's pretty close to our hideout. Damn, Matt, what's going on here? Girl, where you going? Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit, dude. Ooh. You don't fuck with my girl, though. She'll fuck your shit up, bro. Found her. There he is. Hey, criminal. You doing okay in there? I know it's tight, but you won't get shocked if you hold still. I'm okay. And thanks for that bag of jelly beans. I was starving. Won't be long now. Once I bust the other members of your gang, we'll get out of here. I'm grateful for the jelly beans and all, but aren't you on the outs with Interpol right now? I'm an honest cop. Busting the Cooper gang will prove my innocence and show everyone that Constable Neela set me up. You mean Captain Neela? I hear she got promoted. Whatever. Just sit tight. I'm going to look for your pals. You can try. I'm guessing I have to steal the keys from her. Hurry. I've come to break you out. Bad chance. This thing is triple padlocked, and Inspector Fox is carrying all the keys. Come on, buddy. You know I'm an expert at pickpocketing. She's tough, Sly. If you manage to get a key, you'd better run for it. Carmelita's sure to notice and chase after you. Leave her to me. I got this. There's two of them up there? Fuck that. Carmelita, would you like to murder them real quick so I don't have to deal with their asses? Got one. 
Now run! What? My keys! Bye bye you Like that shake and bake move, easy? You'll never catch me alive, cover. <laughs> oh shit, maybe she will. Run! run She's still chasing me? Run and hide! Oh, I will run and hide. Also, cool, Ariane. Welcome to the stream, or Ariani. Ariane, I don't know. Ariane hit, no, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Either way, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Now the key is mine, BZ! Peace out, bitch. Just... Cooper. You didn't see me. I'm a coon. You can't see coon. Oh, there's a train! There's a train! <laughs> that was hilarious. There's a train! Well, back to one key. Good times. That was pretty funny. Merkins and motherfuckers. I'll take that. Oop. Thank you. Goodbye. What? My keys. Me. My key now, homie. Still there? I don't know where you went, but I know where you're going. Oh damn, she wasn't even on Jail. me anymore. She's way the fuck over here. Not even close, girl. Do you know how to pursue? I thought you was a cop. She'd be better at the hot pursuit thing. Just saying. I mean, you're good at the hot part, not so much the pursuit part, though. Not so much of the pursuit part. Oh come on, just give me the key. Just give me the key. Yeah. Nope, come on. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. While you're occupied, I will be like, I'm out. You can't sneak up on me. Uh oh. Shit. Oh yeah, oh god. They'll never catch me alive, copper! <laughs> and then get hit by a train. It's kind of the most appropriate thing ever. Also, I am just failing hard at this. She is Oh god! Run away! Sure I can. No fucking think I won't. I'll take that, and that, nope, and that, and all that you have. Including your life! Shit, I knew that moose saw me. Damn it, moose. No! Oh my god, he's falling! God damn it. Okay. Oh, son of a mole. You son of a mole! Time. I'm almost dead. Meanwhile, Carmelita can go ahead and murder all these bitches for me. Meanwhile, my girl will do all the hard work. Yes. Oh shit, she's over there. Well then. I need the health. Oh. Wait, I need to go up the. the oh. Just careful. Careful.
Whew. What console am I playing it on? I'm playing on PS3. On the, as part of the Sly Collection. Thanks, pal. I was getting a Charlie horse standing in that box. My pleasure. You know how I love to mess around with Carmelita. Yeah. That's weird. See you back at the safe house. All right. Mission complete now. Okay. Now, where was the other mission within? Shit. Check where I thought I heard the bottle, which was over on the other side over here. Thought I heard it like way over here. I'm gonna look around over here real quick. There it is, it's just chilling in the water. All right, got all the bottles. Well done. Head up to the cabin where the an where the answer is. Let's get ourselves a motherfucking move set. Move set. Whoop. Health, please. Thank you. You didn't see me, homie. You didn't see me. You didn't see me, homie. You didn't see me. You didn't see me, homie. You didn't see me. Uh uh, uh uh. Ooh, a thaffer. Nice. That's real nice. That's real nice and fancy looking. I like it. Alright, so let's get in here and get that trench. But of course, there's a bunch of dudes up in here. Bunch of motherfucking dude. Oh god. Jean Bissot's in for another rude awakening the next time he checks in this vault. Eat. The code should be one two nine. Pause and say one two three. One two nine. One two. And we have music makes the people music box. Wow. Okay. Come together. Yeah. We out. <laughs> <laughs>